Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. It's your girl Carol the Diva. Today I'm gonna be doing my hair, of course, and this style is so easy. I don't wanna hear no reason from y'all why you can't do it because it's easy, I promise. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow out my hair and this will help to soften it up. Also, it will help with the length. It's gonna make it look or appear a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? But if I didn't blow it out, it would be almost impossible to achieve the style I wanna achieve or to make it look as good as it's gonna look. The gel I'm gonna be using for this style today is my Got To Be Glued Styling Gel. If you have jam and you want to use that, I say go for it, but I wanted it to last me a few days, so I use the gel instead. Right now, I'm just taking some hair out to lay some edges, and this is optional, as you already know. Not everybody like these things, but I find that it makes this style look so much nicer. Right now, I'm just going to put it up into a soft bun, nothing too tight. And this is going to allow me to easily apply the gel on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a generous amount of gel all the way around it. And then I'm going to brush it in. At this point, I'm using my comb to brush it in and I'm not trying to sleek it down. I'm just trying to get the hair to go where I want it. And so the comb does a better job right now than the brush would. Okay, now it's time to get my ponytail nice and tight and the string I'm using, let me just explain to you guys exactly what it is because I thought I had this recorded but I didn't. So it's the ring off of a stocking cap I'm using. If you, you know, understand what I'm saying, you know, that part, like the edge of the stocking cap and I, uh, you know, just cut it off and stretch it out. And that's what I'm using to do it. And I find that that works very well because I have stocking caps galore. So if I need to do this kind of style and keep doing it with this string, I will always have them. <laughs> Let me just say to you guys that fixing your hair this tight is not recommended. Definitely a no-no, but it's a style that I like and I wanted to do so I went ahead and do it I kept this hairstyle in for three days max even though that's still too long being that I did it so tight my son saw me doing it and he was like that looks like it hurts <laughs> In all reality, it doesn't hurt, but because my hair is this short, I gotta do what I gotta do to get my hair into a ponytail, if you know what I'm saying. Because if I don't do it like this, then it's not gonna work out how I want it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the hair tie out and then use it again to make my hair into a little bun. I 
I'm also spraying some got to be glued free spray on it for maximum security. And yes, this works like a charm. I went back and brushed it in some more using my comb and after that I did spray a little bit more of the got to be glued free spray on it. Now I'm going to tie my edges down and also the rest of my hair and allow it to dry before I touch it anymore. Okay, so now it's all dry, so I'm going to remove my hair scarf and continue on with the rest of the style. Because my edges were still wet when I tied down, the scarf is stuck to it. And in order to get the scarf off without messing up my edges, I kind of have to roll it off. In other words, I pull it towards the direction that the edges are laying down, if that makes sense. So the hair I'm going to be using to make my bun is in this bag right here. And if y'all remember when I did this hairstyle, yeah, that's the remainder of hair that left over that time I'm using today. I'm going to loop this elastic band around the hair to easily attach it to my bun. I then put it over the bun and then I twist it over it one time. The elastic band didn't hold it close to the bun as I would like it to because it's stretchy so I use a piece of the hair and I wrap it around my bun and this will help to keep it closer to uh, my bun so I could easily make the bun that I'm going for. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my bun and as you can see I'm twisting the hair a few times before I start to create the bun with it. I can't really say there's a right or wrong way of doing this. All I can say is to do my bun, I start wrapping it from a higher point up and then I wrap it coming down. And that's how I get the bun to look the way it looked at the end. And the more I wrap it is the more I twist it and just give it a really nice look. And then I just keep doing that until the hair was all gone. I then straighten it, add some pins in it to keep it in place and that completed the look of my bun. This is the finished look guys, what do you think? I kept the hair styling for 3 days and even when I was taking it out, it was still looking nice and fresh like I just did it. I really love it, the texture of the hair matches my hair texture very well so that's definitely a plus. I never had any problems sleeping in it. I tied down at night and I never had to readjust my bun or anything like that. It just stays wherever I, you know, put it from the beginning. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.